Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys another 17 awesome iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are tricks that can be found on iOS 13. They're pretty, pretty cool. And of course, most of them are very useful as well. So here are 17 new iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. With iOS 13, Apple has brought a new volume hood to iOS, which is really, really cool. Way better than the old one, which was really, really ugly. And of course, it didn't even have this feature that allows us to turn up or down the volume using your fingers. Now you can see, once you're done turning up or down the volume, the volume hood will disappear. But you will be able to slide it in back again with your finger without having to press the buttons. You can do that just like in a first couple of seconds once it's removed from the screen so you can see right here once it's gone i can swipe right there and bring it back up and turn up or down the volume of my device now you will see that it will only work like in the first couple of seconds after that you won't be able to do that but again once it's gone just swipe right there and you will be able to bring back the volume hood and change the volume of your device without having to press the buttons at all on Safari on iOS 13, if you have a bunch of tabs open, all you gotta do is just go ahead and go to the landscape mode and then just press and hold basically 3D touch on one of the tabs and right here you will have the option to rearrange those tabs. So you can rearrange them based on the title or you can go ahead and do the same but rearrange them based on on website so you can see as easy as that you will be able to rearrange all the tabs that you have opened in safari if you have a few tabs opened on safari and you need to bookmark them you don't have to do that one by one you can bookmark all of them at the same time simply tap and hold the bookmark icon and then you will have this option right here add bookmarks for three tabs the number of tabs of course that you have opened and then just go ahead and add a title right there click save and now you're good to go now once you go to your front page on safari right here you will see the folder there with of course all the tabs that you had opened and you have bookmarked that's the one right there now another trick right here is that if you have like a folder with bookmarks and you want to open all the bookmarks that are within that folder all you got to do is just 3d touch on the folder and then you can tap here open in new tabs what it will do is that it will open all of those in different tabs of course all new tabs for all the bookmarks that have been saved into that folder there are a ton of new features on the files app on ios 13 and of course there are some really really cool tricks now here i have a few screenshots and what if i want to change their location i have them here on my iPhone saved on locally on my iPhone what if I want to put them in the cloud so all I gotta do is just tap select select the screenshot that I want to change its location and just tap this little folder right there and I can go ahead and change the location of that screenshot just tap right there tap on the cloud I can go ahead tap on the downloads and just click right there copy and I'm good to go that has been saved right there now if I go there if I go back go to iCloud and go to downloads right here is the screenshot that i just moved to the cloud from my iphone on the files app on ios 13 you will have the ability to zip files basically compress files so you have like here i have a few screenshots what if i want to email them i don't have to email all of them one by one i can just go ahead and compress them into a zip file so just tap on the select button select them and then all you gotta do is just tap the three dots right there and click compress now you will see the files of the zip file right there and of course you will be able to also unzip file so if you have like a zip file that you download it's very easy just tap on it and you can see it will create a folder with the items that have been into that zip file so you can see why right there are the screenshot that i just compressed and uncompressed right here Face ID is a really great feature on the iPhone. It's secure, it's really reliable, and it's of course very fast. But you can make it even faster. Just go to settings, go to face ID and passcode, and make sure you disable require attention for face ID. So what this does when you disable it is that it doesn't require your full attention to unlock your device. So basically, all you gotta do is just have like your iPhone just facing you. You don't have to be fully looking at your phone with your eyes wide open 
but of course that will be a bit less secure but it will be way way faster so all you gotta do is just make sure you disable that and then even if you're not looking straight in your phone it will still unlock your iphone using your face id a really cool trick on ios 13 is that you can save notes to the files app so all you gotta do is just go to one of your notes and just press the share button then just slide right here and you will have ability to save that to the files app just tap right there and it will show you right here the places where of course you can go ahead and save that note now if you want to create a new folder you can do that from here so this will create a new folder into the files app if you just want to create like a separate folder for your notes you can do that from there so you can see right here it will go ahead and save the note to the to the files app and if you press right there you can go ahead and just change the name of the file so once you have done that just go ahead tap save and you're good to go now if we go into the files app you will find that that has been saved here so let me go right here go to downloads and let me find that so it should be somewhere here here it is so that's the file that i just saved so from the notes to the files app but what if you have like a long text on the notes app and you don't want to save the complete note to the files app you just want to like save a few words like a paragraph or anything you want from a note so a specific part of a note all you gotta do is just go ahead and select that and then just tap the share button and you can go ahead and simply tap right there save the files and again you can go ahead and save that as a text file on the files app just tap right there of course to rename it and then choose the location where you want to save it and you're good to go so you can just select like a text from a note like a part of the note and you can save that as a new text file on the files app on the photos app on ios 13 you will have the ability to mark up pictures so all you gotta do is just go ahead and tap the edit button and once you have done that make sure you tap those three little dots right there and you will have the option to mark up pictures so if you tap right there you will get the like the same interface that you get when you take a screenshot so here are all the markup tools and of course you can use any one of them right here on your pictures and of course mark up any of your pictures as easy as that so you can see the color picker everything here like the shapes the magnifier the signature you can add text to your pictures so anything you want right here can be done directly from the photos app like if you use like these apps that you have to put text on pictures you have to download apps you can now do that directly here from the photos app you don't have like to, to download any third party app so as easy as that you can go ahead and mark up any of your pictures directly from the photo editor on the photos app on ios 13. when editing pictures on ios 13 and i believe you can do this on older ios versions as well you will have of course different filters that you can add to your pictures so when adding a filter of course it will show you the picture how it looks with this filter applied but you can just tap on it and it will show you how it looks with the original so just tap right there it will stay like for a couple of seconds and it will go back to the filter so just tap to see the original and it will go back so as easy as that you can basically go ahead and compare how your picture looks originally and also with the new filter when on the widgets panel you want to edit your widgets you can tap the edit button and of course you will have all the widgets right here so when you want to dismiss this you will have to tap the dumb button right there to remove that page but you can also just go ahead and just swipe up right there as easy as that just swipe up from the bottom just like you do to dismiss an app on ios 13 and older ios versions as well you will have just to swipe up right here and you will be able to dismiss the widgets page a really cool trick on ios 13 is showing the action menu and you will see it right there so basically this is not really useful but i like how this looks so you can see right here of course we have these new gestures on ios 13 i can copy that text like that but you will see right there that animation that you get on that menu when you swipe you can see as you swipe it will show the animation that i have copied that text so you can see right here i can undo and redo all that stuff so let me just paste that 
So once I bring back right here the menu, you can see when I swipe with three fingers, you can see the animation right there at the undo arrow, like that, undo, redo, just like this. So as easy as that, you can see once you show the action menu, it will also show you those animations, basically when you're doing these gestures. So of course, again, this is not really useful, but again, it will just add like those cool animations on the action menu. On the notes app you can move any word you want simply by 3d touching on that word so 3d touch the word and you will be able to basically move it anywhere you want so i can place it up here down here anywhere on the text you will be able to move that word you can see it will add like this little pillow around the word and you can just go ahead and place it anywhere you want and you get that awesome animation as well and of course, selecting a word, all you gotta do on the Notes app and other apps as well on iOS 13 is just tap and hold the word for like a second. It will give a nice animation and it will select that word. So you don't have to like slide, do it from the space bar here or anything else. Just tap and hold the word and it will select it as easy as that. Now, something really, really useful within the Notes app on iOS 13 is like creating these lists with numbers here. So if you need like to create a list of things with numbers. So here I have one, two, three, and I want to add something in the middle here, but you can see I have one, two, three. Then if I tap return, you can, will show me that the second one will become the third one and the second right there will be left blank. So I can add another item. So if I just want to add like an item right there, I can just place the cursor, tap return, and it will move it a number down and will leave that place with the number empty right there so I can add another item. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 17 new tricks that you can find on your device on iOS 13. Again, most of these are really, really useful and pretty cool features of iOS 13. Some of them are just fun ones and some of them just basically useless but they're cool to see and to know that you can do on your iphone so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for more also don't forget to leave a like on this one i'll see you on the next one